What is happening? Welcome to another Pitcher Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder of Pitcherless and former pitching coach. And here is Nestor Cortez Jr. Now, he's done some amazing things for the Yankees, kind of out of nowhere, without the most overpowering stuff. We're talking low 90s fastball at best, uh, with a cutter and a slider as well that are stealing strikes a good amount. And that's really it. You know, it's not this, you watch him for a game and you don't think, oh man, what an overpowering pitcher. No, you kind of feel like, oh, he, I guess. Yeah, that worked out. I guess I guess it did. Uh, so we're going to watch actually the fourth inning, which is the most overwhelming one he has. So I kind of figured that would be a good one to showcase. Yeah, this is this is him at his best. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll kind of jump into it from there. Uh, so let's do it. Let's do it. Here's him against Austin Hayes. And he starts off with a slider at 76 miles per hour. And, hey, that's free real estate. Good stuff there. I'm all for that, especially the fourth inning when you're re uh, turning over the lineup a bit. Uh, they're seeing you for a second time. Uh, and you wanted something new to, you know, a new approach so that you can attack them differently than you did uh, the first time through. So that, that, that's cool with me. Uh, so, so here we are in the, uh, sorry, 01. I apologize, guys. Now that's a cutter. I, I, can, I can regroup. <laughs> now that's a cutter coming in at 85 miles per hour, 01. I love this pitch. So what you just did, you attacked with a slider over the plate. You got strike one. And now you're going in at 85. And if you remember me talking the other day about how hard it is to hit uh, the slider from, um, uh, was it, I think, Lance McCullers, uh, where the opposite handedness, this looks like a strike for so long, especially with a cutter, where this pitch comes out, and this is all the way on the left. And as it travels across, it looks like a strike for ages. Uh, m maybe like a little bit high, but I mean, it's pretty much at the top of the zone. But you. It ends inside, and this is a cut that's also getting extra horizontal movement. So not just a fastball. Like, this is extra. And this is jamming, guys. And I love this. Wade Miley does this a ton. Uh, Dallas Keuchel in his prime does this a ton. Lefties with cutters, that they can actually get it off the plate inside, just eat up right-handers all the time. So, I mean, that's, gonna, <laughs> that's essentially a free strike, too. And now you have an 0-2 pitch. And Nestor does something pretty cool. Not this one, though. <laughs> he tried to throw a changeup away. Uh, that's It's not really his best pitch at all. I would say it's fastball, slider, cutter are really the main things. It would be nice if he did, because then you have something going the opposite direction of that cutter and slider. But uh, it's not really his thing. So don't worry about that. He's going to try here to go back inside. And that's 92 up. And I like the idea of this. I like the idea of trying to pinpoint the inside corner here because then then Hayes might think that the cutter is coming inside too far and then it actually freezes him up and in uh, this one honestly at 1-2 you can probably go a little bit higher he did want to swing so you can probably uh, you know exploit that a bit and became too hittable that means he survived he wasted a pitch but here we go 1-2 uh, and he throws 92 away so, so what's interesting about this Cortez realizes in the previous pitch Hayes wants to swing he swung on the cutter. He didn't swing on the slider. Fine, because he it was way out of the zone. It came back and he didn't expect that. But swung on the cutter, swung on the high heater. And normally he would want to do that changeup away. But he can't execute that. So what does he do? He throws a fastball outside the zone. It's very rare to see this. To see a whiff on a pitch outside the zone. What could have been in Hayes' head, which you aren't seeing here, is Cortez actually does a good job of throwing cutters away that comes back to the outside corner. And so on release, Hayes has to keep in his mind, like, maybe this cutter is coming back. And that's why he does that check swing away. He wasn't able to say, no, this is a fastball staying away off the plate. Uh, and Cortez is able to capitalize on that. It is very rare to see a fastball whiff away, though. Typically, if you see whiffs, it's up, sometimes inside. But away is, is very atypical. But right, we have Santander here. And there's that cutter again. Uh, this is a whew, this is a really nice one because Santander thinks, oh, this is going to fall too far inside. I'm not going to swing at it, uh, and it just happens to nip the inside corner, so you get the strike um, in that O count. Love it. And there, there's a nice changeup. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, man, that's not fair. Those are, those are pitches that start in the same exact spot. Yeah, I can do this again. Watch this. So this essentially is looking like it's going to be here, and then it goes away. I'm actually going to leave the cursor there so you can get an idea. And when this comes out of the hand, 
sure, it's probably starting like here, but it's both these pitchers are pretty much starting the heart of the plate. And it goes here, and then it fades away to that. It's pretty cool. And if Cortez can constantly do that, that's really nice. If you notice, by the way, the first two at-bats, you have the slider that fell in the heart of the plate. The fastball is a little bit up here. But for the most part, everything is around the edge and competitive, and that's really cool. So now I have 0-2. Uh, this is, I mean, here you go. <laughs> All right. Why? Why is Santander taking this pitch for strike three? That makes no sense, right? This is a fastball right down the middle. Well, this is what sequencing does, right? You can't look at one situation and say, oh, that's everything. Santander was expecting two different things here. One, either another change up away. That was the previous pitch. That was this one. This looks exactly like that fastball, and then it falls off the table. And because Santander swung at that one, now he's thinking, oh, it's going to be another change. He's selling out for it. And instead has a little cut action, comes back over the plate. And Santander, he's dead to rights. The second that he realizes it's not a changeup, it's too late. That's 93. I know it's not 99, but 93 is still really fast. <laughs> and Santander was frozen. <laughs> uh, Twitch chat is saying silly cardboard cutout, which I couldn't agree more. That's all that hitters are. Uh, so there was a, I want to say it was like more of like a curveball, but I guess that is a slider mid-70s. Uh, very bad pitch. That, I mean, you could get free real estate there, and that was just a floater. So there's that cutter. And look at once again, once again, you know, Cortez is three for three in this inning of throwing a cutter inside to a righty and getting a strike on it. Twice it's been a foul ball when it's been a little bit too far in. And once it was taken by Santander for the inside corner. I mean, that it cannot be overstated the importance of that cutter. That's a free strike. Early in counts constantly. It's really, really good execution from Nestor Cortez. So he threw it again. And fine. He didn't get the swing this time. I think it's because it's a little too high up. And I think maybe uh, Arias was thinking that this was going to fall over here before then. So was, he thought it was too high. If this comes down a little bit more, I think he does get another foul ball or swing on it. There's – oh, that's so sexy. <laughs> like Nick, how can how can that be so sexy? This is so great because you have the you have the cutter from beho beforehand. So let's just go two pitches back. So think of this one. And this cutter lands inside here, but it looks like it's going to be a fastball here. So now you go two pitches later. This is that two one, and what what happens? The pitch actually stays where it is this time, and you get and you execute it and you get another free strike. You could have frozen him here. He could have. Thought it was another cutter and tries to do it. But, ah, oh, that's such good execution. And even when you didn't get the frozen response that you wanted from Urias thinking it would be that cutter inside, and then you get a free strike in the inside corner, you got the swing anyway, and it was a foul ball. And you got the same result. That's, that's such a gorgeous pitch. And it sets up whatever this is, right? I mean, all right, fine. You overthrew a fastball. Okay, fix it. Fix it. There's another cutter. I'm actually kind of surprised that this one got a, got a swing because this is going to land up here and comes down. He's being protective, I guess, but eh, not so much. Are you going to try the changeup now? No, you're going to try another fastball, another foul ball. So here we go. 3-2. They're setting up a way, and I would really love a changeup at this point. I don't think that's what Cortez is going to throw. Uh, it's probably going to be a backdoor cutter. And it is... And, uh, okay, so that's right down the middle again. And I will say this is the one that I think Cortez did get away from. Get away with, I should say. Because he's seen the cutter a lot at this point. And where this one starts, it looks like it's a strike all the way through. It's not like one of them that is starting so far away and going back. By the way, the camera angle makes it look like this is a way. It's not. This is a righty over the plate. And, and you know, he knows it's coming back over the plate at this point. I. Uh, this looks like looks like a fastball way that gets more of the plate than I uh, than the fastball would, but he should be swinging the entire way through, which he does, but he should be able to make more contact with that one. So I think Cortez got away with it. It's not like the down and away one we saw earlier in this game, which is really nice. Um, but at the same time, it does show that the cutter is good if they're not <laughs> if they're not hitting that pitch. Like there's something good going on with it, 
It could be movement, could be the change of speed. I mean, that's a six mile per hour difference. That's not insignificant between the fastball and the cutter. Um, but that's how Cortez does it. And the command of that cutter inside paired with good fastball command as well, that can work. You know, 11 strikeouts, I don't know. I don't know if that's really the man that uh, that Cortez is. But yeah, Nestor Cortez Jr., you're killing it right now. And hopefully that command can last longer than just September. Hopefully into 2022. We'll see what happens there. But that's how he does it. That's how he gets it done. And that's another pitcher video breakdown. Thanks for watching this one. As always, subscribe to this channel. Click the bell so you can see every video as they appear. And that's going to do it for today. So as always, may your babas be low and your strikeouts high.